Okay, another quickie today, not a pimping, but just an adding a, an armrest, a factory armrest. <laughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Uh, non-optional, um, or sorry, non-optional. Non-standard, it came optional. Uh, and it's driver side only. And um, mounts down in here. I got it at the wrecking yard off of another car uh, that I don't want to know what happened to the person in the accident because the seat was pretty mangled. Anyway, um... I'm going to install it on this one, move the seat forward, and then ugh, recline the seat back as far forward as possible. I'm going to set this up on a tripod and then uh, we're going to swap it out. Okay, I'm just going to leave this running as I do this and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see everything. It should take about three or four minutes. if my head's not in your way. I'm just pulling this out from under the front of the seat. Flap at the front. Let me see if you can see that. So I just pulled it up and through. Now we're going to hopefully lift this fabric enough to reveal the holes that this mounts in. Three Torx T30 screws. Two of them. One. Yep, they're drilled through. Okay, this piece here doesn't want to come up. Ah, okay. It's attached to the foam. So let's roll the foam up and out. far enough. I have to do it from that side though. remove the seat belt to get it out of my way and I can see these three bolts okay one two three so the two are on the bottom and one is on the top I need... okay I need to cut out that foam let me grab a knife real quick Sorry, some parts of this might take a little longer because I'm not going to cut and go back and forth, back and forth. I'm just going to continue it in one big shot. It looks like it's got a bit of a cutout here as to where the foam goes. 
hard to tell. That is dull. Never do that with your fingers. Make a little cut in the fabric. Oh, my blade died. Come on, load a new one. locking in place. This is gonna become long if I keep pulling this up and cutting the foam out. So let me get this foam all cut out and then I'll cut back to this. So your time's not wasted. Okay, so all the foam I need to remove should be gone. So I'm gonna stick this little sucker in place. Um, I'm gonna take the spring clip off for when I push it through the fabric. I don't want that spring clip grabbing on anything. my hole in the fabric. To make that a tiny bit bigger. see what's going on. Okay. So that's poked through. And from the back in here, I'm just going to insert the screws through the three holes that are there for mounting it. Loosely started in all the holes. Yeah. Come on. Kind of far, the front one is kind of far back in there. There we go.
Come on. <laughs> That's a bit of a pain. Let's put the top one in first then. Maybe that will help locate the bottom one. Problem is you can't see up into there. You're kind of trying to feel. Anyway, <laughs> once again, instead of making you watch me fumbling to put three T30 screws in through the side, which is pretty self-explanatory. Actually, I'll show you the inside. See the one, second one's just behind the head on the back. You can kind of see the light through it and the third one's up there. So once I get all those started in, we'll just tighten them up and then finish installing this. I don't want to rush it because I don't want everybody to sit around watching for no reason, but I don't want to rush it as well. Hold on one second. Back in a bit. Ah! That top screw is a bit of a bugger. We need like hands like rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. So I've got all three in there and just ready to be tightened. This part just goes, there's a little flap under here that goes in there and you just kind of turn it over. Sorry, this part. If you've ever done a Jeep roof, <laughs> same thing. Or the bottom of a Mercedes seat upholstery, which oddly this kind of is. kind of curls back up on itself to lock it in place. Like that. So I'll call that under the frame. armrest on so yeah I didn't know there was a pocket there ha learned something new <laughs> this little clip goes oh I'm 99% sure it goes this way yes it does oh no wait first almost forgot the little cover piece Okay, finally got that spring clip in. Long end, curls around, short little pigtail end goes into the slot. See how the wire comes down there and that's going to lock into that slot on the back of the armrest. So which way does this sucker go? Can only go this way. That's locked in. Oop. There we go. And now it scrolls up and down. Up, down, and then the position's adjustable somehow. This little wheel underneath. 
I don't know how it works. It works somehow. Anyway, I just got to clean it off and it's all done. Thanks for watching.